Man, I want to hear, now we, we did this last time, but I want to go through this again because this is straight gold, man. I want to, I want to, I want to re-listen to this because I want to hear it again too. Sure. Okay? Because the way that you've tweaked it and, and the way that you do it, this door knocking script, I want to, I want to hear this thing again because it's just pure genius. The way that you took my script, my circle prospecting script, you tweaked it for door knocking you took your experience from door knocking the solar panels, right? Mm -hmm. And then turned it into this incredible conversation that you have and have sold so much property door knocking. So let me hear it. Well, let me show you this first and I'll show you what I leave on the doors. I, I thought about this. So I know it's probably reversed here, but I have my business card. Stay, and then this is just... I value relationships over transactions every single time. And what in the world can I do for you? So this is so this is like a package you leave with them. Yeah, I leave this on every door. And the cool okay. thing is, rather than a voicemail, I don't know what the stats are with people are calling with the voicemails. Probably not a great callback rate, but I get people calling me back with this almost every week. Say, oh, you mm -hmm. dropped a flyer off at my door. Can you come do a CMA for me? I'd like, yeah, I'd love to. Um, and then I go back, get the C do the CMA, get their email right into constant contact. So this is just a branding thing. So it's a picture of me and a couple of nice reviews, a little bio letter on myself so they get to know me. Don't make this too long if you're going to do this. Short and sweet, simple. They don't want your whole life story. The recent market activity, just it's really basic. It's just an MLS printout of what's sold in and around their neighborhood in the last year. And then a couple MLS sheets. That's it. Sometimes I don't even add the MLS sheets because it starts get, if there's 20 properties sold next to their house, I just do the list because I don't want to print off 20 extra copies. So I'm going to do this. I'll ask you just to pr don't even say anything and I'll kind of talk. I'll talk the way through the script the way I do it. Is that all right? You want to like role play it? No, no role play. And I'll kind of explain and pause and, and what I'm doing to connect with these folks. Um, how's your connection? You good? Yeah. Okay, cool. So I'll just go, I go knock, knock, knock. And then I'm going to try to get into the camera a little closer. They answer the door and I'm, I'm stepped back and I'm, I'm turned like this, acting like I'm doing something. I'm not doing anything, but this is non-threatening. When they see my shoulder, they're like, okay, this guy's not gonna, he's not threatening. And then when I hear the door open, I step back, smile and I go, Hey, how's it going today? Good, good. Well, my name's Ben. I'm a local real estate agent. Don't worry. I'm not trying to get you to sell your house. I promise. If they smile there, Ricky, I know I'm going to have a normal conversation with them. And then I go, hey, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Reason for my knock is I provided you a market snapshot, a bio letter, customer reviews. That's for you. I close the gap. I, I give them something. And then I step back and I say, and I'm just seeing if there's anything that I could do for you now or in the future. And I shut up and I listen. I listen. 98% of the time they say, no, thanks. I'm good. I appreciate it. They posture towards the door. I say, I got gotcha. you. Well, let me ask you this. Then I'll get out of your hair. I even do the, like, I'm, I'm getting out of here soon. I got gotcha. you. Well, let me ask you this. Then I'll get out of your hair. If you were to make a real estate move, do you have an agent that you would use? And then they say, no. And then this is where I've kind of, this is really important here because it, I was feeling a little too scripty. I just kind of step back, I take a breath and I say, because genuinely this is how I feel. Ricky, I'd love to be able to help you in the future if you ever need anything. And they say, great, thanks. Okay, would it be okay if I stayed in touch with you? And they say, sure, Ben, that'd be great. When they say that, I look right down at my yellow pad. I don't look at them anymore. I say, Wonderful. What's your first name? Thanks, Ricky. What's a good email address for you? And then after I get the email address, I just thank him. I say, thank you for being open-minded and friendly. I appreciate it. If you need anything in the future, real estate or not, you have my card. Give me a call. And if they want to shoot the shit a little bit, I sit, sit there and talk to them. They invite me in. I have a drink or what, whatever. You know, I'll just talk to them, connect with them. So I know that was kind of chopped up and I was explaining what I, what I do but that's gotten me like 400 emails off the doors. <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy. It took a while to learn that though. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dude, it's just you've got it down to an art where even down to the to the body language when you knock, you just kind of step away. Oh yeah, very very non threatening. Then if they smile, you know you got them. Then you give them something, mm -hmm. and then and then it's a really smooth conversation. I really love it, man. That's why I wanted to bring you back to go through that again for people that didn't hear it the first time. I got crushed in my first neighborhoods. Don't get me wrong. Crushed. I was using some wax scripts and I got beat. beat just up. for just for the uh, just for education. I've never heard this. What script were you using? I can't even remember. Like what three things are you looking for in an agent? They don't want to be talking to somebody at their door. So don't say that stuff. Act like you're getting out of there quick. I'm not going to take up too, I'm not taking up too much of your time. Uh, just use your script, but just uh -huh. tweak it a little even, and I'm not knocking the weather part either, but they, I've tried the weather on the doors. They don't want to talk about the weather because they're like, who is knocking on my door? Like, who is this? I don't know this guy. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just, I, I, I take that objection right away, try to get them to laugh. Hey, I'm not trying to get you to sell your house, I promise. That's kind of like the weather part, you know, that, yeah. part, that breaks it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah.